welcome back to another video. Um, in this one, I just want to talk about what we do as a business, um, the equipment that we use within the business. Um, it's all high end, no rug doctors, no vaxes. Um, this equipment is worth a lot of money. Um, as any carpet cleaners watching this video will understand, it's worth a lot of money. Um, we only use the best for our customers' homes and uh, premises if it's a commercial job. Um, but yeah, let's get stuck in. So firstly, we'll start with the main machine, which is the Airflex HX 400 uh, 25 litre clean tank, 25 litre dirty tank. Um, there is a bigger model than this, but personally for the jobs that I do through the business, this is ideal. It stays on the van 90% uh, of the time, uh, purely because it's that powerful. Um, it can stay on the van, it keeps the noise down. Uh, if people are working from home, because uh, obviously post COVID, people are hybrid in, in the office some days, not in the office some days, they're at home. Keeps the noise down. Um, people don't want a machine wearing and wearing on their doorstep. Um, it can be pulled off. We can take this off. Um, like I said, if we're doing flats, and as long as there's a lift, we're happy to go up four floors uh, in a lift, take this off, ideal. Yeah. We carry 50 foot of two inch hose, split into 35 and 15. Uh, purely because not if it's if I can park on the drive on the customer's drive or right outside the front door, usually it's only the 35 two inch, and then I've got a 10 foot one and a half inch whip hose as well, um, 50 foot one and a half inch, and then we've also got another 25 foot just hanging in here. That is enough to get me from, for example, the customer's driveway next to the house, round in the front door, up the stairs onto a three-story townhouse, for example, um, into the back bedroom. 125 foot is enough. Um, some people carry over 200 foot. That's up to them. Uh, moving on here, Pro 35. Uh, this is a CRB machine, contra-rotating brush machine. This agitates the pre-spray in the carpet. It lifts the pile back. This is the Rolls-Royce of agitation. I started out with a SIBO Duo, invested in the business, bought this machine. Um, this machine is an investment for me. I am looking to um, do hard floor training as of February 2023 next year. This is wet and dry. Um, so this will clean tile and grout, um, porcelain, LVT, et cetera, et cetera, linoleum. Um, this is the, and like I said, that's an investment for the business that is, that's gonna earn a lot of money. Um, moving on, clean fix floor mac, uh, 13 inch rotary. Um, this machine is versatile, ideal for pad capping, ideal for encapsulation. Um, ideal for agitation. Now the blue, I only own the blue brushes on the Pro 35. I didn't see the point of paying 160 pounds um, of the Queen's money purely to um, get the white brushes when this does the same job. Um, so yeah, I use this to agitate any wool carpets, obviously because the uh, fiber is a bit more delicate. Um, can't be going in with a Pro 35 on that, it's too harsh. Um, so yeah, we mainly use this for agitation, but any small commercials like what well, we've done, um, pharmacies, small, small like uh, commercial premises like that, this is ideal um, for encapsulation. Um, Shark Hoover, um, this is their high-end flagship model. Some carpet cleaners use a Sebo BS360. Some people use a normal domestic Hoover. I personally think this is better than a Sebo for getting around the house, doing stairs, etc. A Sebo is a pain in the bum. Um, it's not got the reach hose that this has. This lifts away. I can knock a set of stairs out in about 10 minutes hoovering. Um, not a problem. Like I said, it's an ongoing debate and it will forever go on whether to use a commercial vacuum or a domestic vacuum. I find a domestic vacuum does the job. Westpac two inch, uh, sorry, Westpac twin jet wand. Uh, two jets on this. Um, this is entry level wand. Most carpet cleaners will have a two jet wand. Um, I personally don't see an issue um, or an investment to need a four jet or a swivel head wand. This does exactly what I ask it to do. So yeah, moving closer into the van, um, just talk through a couple of things. This is a magma heater. Um, this basically heats ice cold water up to around 110 degrees. Um, a lot of the way I work my chemistry, um, the pre-sprays do the work itself. Heat is just an addition. I can clean with cold water. Like I said, if I don't need to turn the heater on, I can clean with cold water, no issue, but obviously it's like washing your plates in cold water in the washing up bowl. It's always better to have a bit of heat in there. As I said, 125 foot of high pressure hose. So they've all got the, uh, the valves there and also be able to pick that up, obviously with the 110 degree heat running through, you don't want to be touching the uh, brass on that. 
Uh, cut the buckets there. Got a light here, obviously, with the winter months coming in. Um, it gets quite dark around four, and obviously we're still working. Uh, exhaust here, just for the machine. Just goes up and back out here. Just, keep, again, keep the noise down. Um, a lot of chemicals here. A lot of my chemicals do come from um, World of Clean. Um, where else do we get our chemicals from? Clean Spec in Cumbria, TMF, and the Max range. But our go-to is World of Clean, um, as you can see here. What have we got here? Ig ignore all this. Obviously, I've moved everything around. So we've got Shockwave. That's a scoop to a litre, which is economical. I do use Sagers. Uh, Sagers is good for an absolute rat nasty carpet. There's a bit of Nord in here. Um, this is my go-to for light upholstery. Um, solvent pre-spray. That's ideal. I don't really use a lot of Nord. I find that it's not very economical compared to a powder. I literally use Valhalla, which is um, a solvent pre-spray for um, delicates, uh, delicate upholstery. And I've got Asgard. And I've got Asgard there as well, which is a really good uh, stain protection that we offer. Um, this here, so this is a Bosch water butt pump. Okay, so I had an idea one day. I carry 60 litres of water. Because uh, at the end of the day, we're in a cost of living crisis. And the least I can do is take water from my own property. Um, obviously, with a portable, people... Um, will take the customer's water along with the electricity. Now, yes, I do need electricity when I turn up to the customer's house, but at the end of the day, if I can take one thing away from the customer, that's gonna help them. So we carry 60 liters of water on the van, and obviously I need to get that pumped uh, into the machine in here, fresh water. So what I've done is, obviously, there's a valve on there, comes up, it pumps it all the way through, through this, through to here, and then we can attach that straight onto the quick fill, and uh, off we go. Like I said, 60 litres, that'll do uh, around a five bed house um, with no lounge on that. So basically five, five double bedrooms and probably a set of stairs or set, two sets of stairs landing. Um, and then obviously, like I said, we will have to take it off the customer, but we're saving the customer a lot of money there. Obviously all the kits out the back at the moment, but it would usually sit in here. Uh, this is just my go-to box. So there's a lot of things in here. I've got some spotters in here, a bit of Prochem Solvex, uh, citrus gel, Empower Spotter, superb for wool carpet issues, coffee staining, um, like I said, it's wool safe. Tampico agitation brush, a four inch hand tool. Um, I use that mainly for stairs. I do also have a stair tool, um, but it rarely comes off the van. It's quite, it's quite bulky and uh, awkward to use. Um, bit of fragrance, bit of deodorizer. Furniture sliders here um, to move some furniture if needed. Like I said, that's the water tank. Uh, it's only 60 litres, um, but it's enough for us for the jobs that we do. And also got a Makita drill here for agitation of uh, upholstery. Some traffic cones, obviously, um, if we need to park across pavement, um, safety signs. This is the 10-foot whip hose I was on about. And then we've also got a, a Rotovac shear dry tool there that we use for upholstery um, and delicates. Snail fan. Couple more extension leads which don't really get used. If I have to go that long, I might as well just take the machine off the van. Um, and lastly, an Urian six litre sprayer. Um, some people, I've tried all, most sprayers, electric sprayers, I've tried the work sprayer. I've ended up back what I started with, a six litre Urian. So, yeah. so like I said, just a bit of an insight into what we do as a business, what we offer, professional carpet and upholstery cleaning, mattress cleaning, rug cleaning. Get in touch with us. We're based in Bedfordshire, um, 07394 938048. It's the way to contact us. You'll find us on social media, Instagram, Facebook, um, like I said, YouTube as well. Just search The Cleaning Chief. We'll come straight up. You'll notice our logo. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Um, and like I said, hopefully we can be of a service to you.